Good morning guys, it's Alex from the Style Jungle here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are continuing to explore this amazing South Island of New Zealand and today we arrived in Queenstown. This town has so much to offer, doesn't matter if you're visiting in winter or in summer. Of course in winter there's a lot of ski fields around, uh, but in summer there is also lots of extreme uh, activities for you to try so there is lots lots of things going on and we'll try to show you a couple of things you can do here so because it's not our first time and obviously not our first video from Queenstown we uh, tried to focus on some new things we didn't try last time but if you want to see some other activities uh, you can do here in Queenstown you make sure to click on the pop-up banner in the corner of the screen One of the short walks in Queenstown you simply can't miss is the Queenstown Gardens walkway uh, which is absolutely amazing, you are kind of on a small peninsula or a small island uh, very close to the uh, town center so you can enjoy amazing views of uh, the mountains and of the center and of course of the lake over here uh, absolutely great, very short but picturesque walk. I keep repeating short walks because we are quite tired. This is kind of uh, our second part of our New Zealand road trip and we've done a lot of walking already so we are looking for some shorter walks to enjoy this beautiful place and uh, this is what we really needed. Right next to the entrance to the gondola is one of the hidden gems of uh, Queenstown or how they call it the hidden oasis of Queenstown. This is the Kiwi uh, Bird Life Park uh, which is uh, quite a cool place uh, because there are lots of uh, different birds you can see here. Uh, of course Kea and the Kiwi are probably the most interesting ones. Uh, there is a couple of nocturnal houses where you can see Kiwi during the day. Uh, there are also uh, Kiwi birds feeding uh, kind of shows um, a couple of times during the day. 
So you can uh, come here, enjoy the nature, enjoy the birds and learn more about native species of uh, New Zealand and obviously see them in action, which is very, very cool. One of the best photo points you simply can't miss here in Queenstown is one mile car park, amazing views to the Remarkables and uh, to the city as well, so uh, yeah, great for sunrises and sunsets uh, and I guess it's a very unique situation we're now in, there is no other photographer here to take pictures, so this is absolutely incredible. Uh, so this place is all for ourselves, absolutely great. If you are looking for things to do outside of Queenstown, one of the best choices you can make is to go to Glenorchy. It's a very short drive from Queenstown, about uh, 30 45 minutes. Uh, scenic route, uh, you can see lots of mountains around you while driving, lots of beautiful spots to stop and take pictures. Glenorchy itself is extremely beautiful, probably the most well-known kind of postcard view is uh, the view to the Glenorchy Wharf uh, which is absolutely stunning lots of uh, walkways to do yeah so beautiful place to actually spend a day here and uh, surprisingly enough Glenorchy is rated number one attraction in Queenstown um, yeah which is kind of funny so yeah you simply can't miss it
Absolute must do here in Glenorchy is Glenorchy Animal Experience. This is a local farm uh, which has absolutely breathtaking views uh, of the mountain range around and of course lots of lovely animals. You can uh, be very close to them, you can pet them, you can feed them, uh, you can take as many pictures as you want. Um, it is an absolute delight to, to do this. It's such a such a positive thing to do. It doesn't matter if you are traveling with your family or it's just a couple or you're traveling alone. Uh, this is something that will definitely give you lots of positive energy and uh, be a very highlight of your trip. So when in Queenstown there are so many choices on where you can go skiing or snowboarding and uh, we decided to pick Cardrona because uh, uh, in our opinion it's uh, one of the best ski resorts uh, here in New Zealand and uh, especially here uh, in Queenstown so it's nice and short drive from Queenstown then you can either uh, drive by yourself to the very top of the mountain or you can catch a shuttle uh, lots of different tracks here, uh, a couple of cafes, uh, absolutely amazing. We were so lucky to be here uh, two times and the weather uh, was absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, everything is very, very cool over here. When you're traveling out of Queenstown, let's say to Arrowtown or to Cardrona or to Wanaka, uh, you can definitely stop here at Lake Hayes, uh, which is an amazing place, especially on a sunny day because uh, the water reflects the hills and the mountains, so you can get really 
nice pictures uh, unfortunately this is not the clearest day uh, maybe yet but uh, anyway it's nice over here unfortunately we don't have time to do any kind of walking because we're uh, traveling today because we want to visit lots of places today uh, but yeah Lake Hayes is definitely one of uh, the spots around the Queenstown you want to visit Another amazing place you can't miss if you're visiting Queenstown is this historic town of Arrowtown. <laughs> um, uh, it is well known for its beautiful autumn pictures around the Instagram or around the web. Uh, but it is actually very beautiful, doesn't matter what, what season you're visiting in. Uh, beautiful architecture, amazing small town. Uh, lots of historical places to visit around this uh, small area so yeah definitely worth visiting It's been amazing to spend a couple of days here in Queenstown to try some new things, to visit Cardrona, which is our favorite ski resort here in New Zealand, uh, to walk around uh, the town, enjoy the views. Glenorchy was definitely a highlight of this uh, uh, part of our trip. Uh, so if you want to see other videos from our South Island trip, make sure to click on the pop-up banner in the corner of the screen. If you want to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye!